Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? Another for Lead Chief Friday. They have a new thing on uh, Facebook Lives where they count down for you. So normally you can kind of like see yourself before it goes live and now it's like black and it's like three, two, one. And then there you are. So yeah, hello, Jamie, how are you? Are you on snow day today? I wonder, you guys got a lot of snow. I think further south of us anyway, so I'm assuming Maybe you guys got more snow too. So hello, hi Philomena, welcome. Thanks ladies for hanging out with me. It's a beautiful sunny day, at least here in Michigan. Hopefully it's sunny wherever you are. We're gonna be dragging the table around, I'm sure. Ah uh, yes, Jamie, snow day. We had ours yesterday. Um, my daughter would have loved to have a snow day today also. We have been, I've got my hope gear on. This is like the hope basketball week. Hey, Nikki, hello, happy birthday to you. Hopefully you had a great birthday this week. Uh, and I think it was on February 2nd. I was writing that like 2, 2, 22 all day long. And I'm like, what a great day. What a great day for a birthday too. So yeah, that's awesome. Um, hopefully it was a good day for you. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? Oh, we've had like basketball, 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 basketball. It's been so fun. Hey, Lori. Hello. Welcome. We had a game um, Wednesday. This was awesome. That was like our super snowy day. Um, and then did school got canceled yesterday. Yeah. So anyway, um, Hope Basketball, which is down in Holland. So kind of southwest side of Michigan, right on Lake Michigan, actually. You're welcome, Nikki. Um, they came up here to play Alma College, which is like just down the road from us. Um, so anyway, that was super fun. So Cade playing on the basketball team, coming to Alma College. Hey, Deb. Um, so that was super fun because that was like the one away game that we didn't actually have to travel for. The weather like I said, was not very good. And I kept texting Cade all day long. Are you coming? Are you sure you're coming? They have this huge, like beautiful, big blue, like hope coach bus that they come in on. And I just get such a kick out of that bus too. Um, and they say, you know, obviously those buses are huge and heavy and so they don't slide around a lot. So um, they felt safe coming, so they did. So we had basketball Friday or uh, Wednesday night, and then we actually went down to Grand Rapids to Cornerstone University um, in Grand Rapids and um, watched him play last night. Hello, Sharon. I'm glad you can be here, Miss Sharon, and thanks, Deb. Glad you're on time too. So yeah, then tomorrow we go back down to Holland um, and watch another basketball game. So I had had my hope gear on all week. So I'm like, you know what? I'm wearing it for Facebook Live too. So you can see I'm like bouncing off the walls. We have so many like awesome things to share with you guys too. So we are going to be, what are we featuring? Um, all of a sudden I'm like blanking out. Yeah, it is. So the special moments stamp set, which is the stamp set we're giving away later um, for ordering is actually the stamp set that we are going to feature today. The awesome, this is like I said, the special moments stamp set. So this is a celebration freebie. You can get this free with a $100 order during celebration. So now through the end of February, I can't even believe it's February already. Where did January go? Although I do not mind when the winter rushes along, right? So we can get to like spring and summer, especially especially summer. Hey, Teresa, welcome. So this is an awesome stamp set, obviously called Special Moments for lots of different special moments in our lives and just happening, right? So I have to read them to you because we are gonna have some fun with these. And I love, the thing that I love to do is find like a sentiment stamp set like this, um, which is awesome because they have so many great sentiments and then pair it with some beautiful designer series paper. So let me just skip right to that because I have to show you, this is like jumping off the table at me. This is the, <clears throat> the flowering fields designer series paper. So you can see I've already cut the 12 by 12 pieces and a half. These are six by 12 pieces. Oops, and then there's the back side of the paper. I might show that again when I flip it down, the camera down too, but isn't that beautiful? The flowering fields designer series paper. So we paired that this week with the special moment stamp set. And this is what we're gonna be playing with later today um, and stamping with. Um, so let me read you, like I said, the sentiments. We've got, thanks for brightening up my day. Just a card to say, you're amazing. With sympathy, hang in there, you're holding it. 
Okay, I don't understand that one. We'll have to figure out what that one goes with. <laughs> um, it's okay to feel the feels. That one's fun. Hey, Becky, everyone's on. I think everyone must be home for like snow days or something, which is so very cool. Yes, Deb, this is an awesome stamp set, isn't it? Um, let's see, where would I be without a friend like you? That's a great, great sentiment, right? We've got happy birthday. You can always use more of those. And it's a pretty font too. Um, I think you're wonderful. Big congratulations. And then there are these teeny, tiny ones. I'll read those. Those are like these little ones right down here that are perfect on like a little circle, something that you might put on a little treat. Um, hey, boo. That's so cute. So my niece, Brinny, or Bryn, we call her Brinny, but um, her parents call her boo. <laughs> so I think that's cute. Hey, boo. I might have to like give my sister that stamp or something so she can like, she doesn't ever stamp. Maybe she would say she would put hey, boo on something for Brinny. Um, then let's see. Hello, sunshine. Thanks. Good luck. Just a little high from me. Can you see how many there are? The thing I like about you is everything. And then there are more. We've got big congratulations. I'm not sure if I said that one or not, but for someone who is wonderful in each and every way, thinking of you always, we can always use those, right? I couldn't wait for a special occasion. Best wishes. Oh, and that's what this one is. So I have something for you and then that you're holding it. Now it makes sense. I have something for you. You're holding it. <laughs> that's cute. So awesome sentiments. There are 21 different sentiments. Obviously that took me a while to read all of those, right? So great stamp set. Again, free with your $100 order now through the end of the month. And we're going to play with that later on today on Facebook Live. Okay, let me scoot that over there. Um, trying to stay organized. So many things on my table here to share with you guys. Don't forget, hey, Kathy, welcome. We are also giving away the Calming Camellia stamp sets. Like I said, as many stamp sets as I get, I'm going to be giving them away free with a $50 order. Your name goes in the drawing for every $50 order. So if you put in a $100 order, your name goes in two times. If you put a $150 order, your name goes in three times. And every time you order, all during celebration. So I'm going back and I'm looking at any orders starting from whenever celebration started on January 4th. I have to like look at my little pamphlet, my little brochure here. But yeah, any order over $50 between January 4 and February 28, your name goes in the drawing to win as many of these stamp sets as I get. I'm going to give them all away to you guys. Now, the thing is, if you want to guarantee that you get this stamp set, you have to put a big order in. It's a $300 order. That's how you get these stamp sets, which that's another option too. If you want to put in a huge order, you can do that and get this stamp set for sure. Or if you want to um, like gather friends and family together and put an order in that way, if you don't want to spend it all yourself, just get some orders together. And as long as they accumulate to at least $300 in product, so before tax and shipping, then you will get the Calming Camellia stamp set also. Um, but like I said, I'm going to be giving away all of my stamp sets too. We'll do that on the first Facebook Live that I do in the beginning of March. Okay, so that will be very, very fun. I'm excited about that. Um, okay, I always have to check my list. Hey, Debbie, how are you? Thanks, guys, for hanging out with me. Um, 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 oh, I know what I want to show you guys now. Thank you for sharing the video, too. I think I saw Deb share it earlier, too. And I have to tell you guys, I really, um, I'm like making more new friends, finding new faces, new people watching, um, and being a part of our um, Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook. Facebook group. So, and I think it's because it's working, right? Your shares of this video are working. We're reaching new friends and I truly appreciate that. So any, especially share it on your, um, on your personal page, you know, on your newsfeed. But if you're a part of any other paper crafting groups, I love for you to share this video there as well, because that's the best way for me to find new friends and new customers, to be honest, because um, that's how I continue to be able to do these Facebook Lives is by customers and orders and that sort of thing, right? So if you guys help me, I truly, truly appreciate that. Reaching new friends, making new friends is awesome, right? And then um, making, uh, reaching new customers as well. I, I do, like I said, I truly, truly appreciate that. So if you're on other Facebook groups, love for you to share this video. If you have fun and enjoy these Facebook Lives, I'd love for you to share that so that other people can join in the fun with us. So thank you, thank you. I just thought of that as I'm seeing the shares popping up there too. So yeah, so I have to show you guys. This is the sampler that I made. Well, I didn't make, I made one of these squares. So this is um, part of my Demo Design Dream Team, um, the PDF tutorials that we do each month. We had eight of us make 
one of these squares, one person did a double square right there, obviously, and then um, mailed them out to all, like everyone participating in this sampler. And um, we put our sampler together. And then actually the other eight gals did the rainbow um, and sunshine designer series paper, that celebration um, paper. And we um, they made a sampler and I posted that. I don't have that one because I was a part of this group, the daffodil, Delight, I think it is. I have to like look at the name for sure. Um, but anyway, I just have to show you guys. And I'll, I'll show you guys again real quick when we flip the camera down. But isn't that beautiful? You really get a great idea of the paper and the stamp set, um, the dies, and then even just kind of coordinating, beautiful coordinating products there also. So beautiful. I have to look that up now. Is that what it's called? <clears throat> the Daffodil? I think it is. Oh, no. Daffodil Afternoon. So it's this designer series paper right here that's free with your $50 order. And then maybe it's this, nope, Daffodil Daydream is the bundle. I don't know where I got Daffodil Delight. That was probably an old name of something, right? So anyway, again, free with your $50 order. During celebration, you can get that designer series paper that we used to create the sampler. <laughs> Hello, Philomena. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. So many fun friends are on today. So thank you guys. And thank you for sharing the video, Philomena. Thank you, thank you. Old ink color. What does that mean, Nikki? You have to tell me what that means. I'm not sure what that means. Okay, type in another comment. Let me know what old, an old ink color. Am I saying, oh, that's what it was, right? Daffodil Delight, that was an old ink color. <laughs> but daffodils are delightful. Well, yes, they are, Sherwin. They're like one of the first things that pops up in springtime, right? Thank you, Nikki. I was like, what is she talking about? But I get it now. I get it now. I'm with you. Um, 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 oh, okay. Let's see. I'm like all, okay. I should just like pick up stuff off the table and show you guys things, but then I'd be all um, like, did I do it in order that I wanted to do it in? So I'm going to show you guys. We um, played bingo. I think it was just, oh, <laughs> snow, snow, snow. You have a foot so far. Yeah. So it must be what we got further south of us. We didn't get, we got a, we got a nice amount, but it, it wasn't like anything awful. Um, but yeah, further south of us in Michigan got more snow. So you're probably getting what they got, um, like Wednesday night, Wednesday, Wednesday night. So yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, it's beautiful though, once it's all done coming down, right? When the sun is shining like it is today, it's like reflecting off of every all, all of the white everywhere. Um, as my sister sent me a good morning text, um, she is down in Florida, a picture of the beach and the sand and all of the, you know, the chairs and the umbrellas out, like set up, ready for the day at the beach. <laughs> She's like, good morning. <laughs> Let me tell you, I, I probably can't, no, I, I think I said, I don't know. What did I say? I probably shouldn't say it on here, but I didn't swear, but it wasn't very nice because <laughs> she was definitely rubbing it in that she's down in Florida and enjoying sun and fun and beach time right now. So it's good for her though. She needed that getaway. She and her husband went, this is so cool. So she's turning 50 in March and um, all of her good friends from college, um, there are like four of them that still get together all the time. So the four of them and their husbands all went down to Florida to celebrate their 50th. You know, they're all turning 50 or maybe some of them have already. So they all got to go down to Florida and celebrate together. So that was very, very cool, I think. Um, okay, so let me show you guys. What was I gonna? Oh, I was like, going, where am I going? Um, <clears throat> bingo. That's what I started to say. Bingo. I think it was just last Thursday. It feels like longer ago than that. But we played bingo here in Alma at um, not the stamp studio. I almost said that. We don't have a stamp studio anymore, but at the church, which is a fabulous facility that we've been using for over a year now. Um, so I wanna show you guys the make and takes that we made at Bingo. Now I cased both of these um, from, I found them on Pinterest, and I'll tell you guys, um, this first card is designed by Peggy No. it's N-O-E, at prettypapercards.com. So I can't take credit for it, but I thought it was super cute. And it featured, I wanted to show everybody at Bingo a bunch of products that I hadn't played with too much yet that are um, celebration products. So this is that marvelous, not marvelous, but marvelous designer series paper. And I love that 
the thing I kept saying was these patterns on this side of the paper are pretty bold and intense and I wasn't sure how to use them and so I thought this was a great idea of how to use that designer series paper just as kind of a background right for that super cute little van um, and then she had these little balloons popping out now what you'll see <laughs> yes Sharon it becomes the stamp studio when they're when we're there yes that's very very true yes <laughs> that's awesome um but what was I gonna say oh this driving, I think it's the driving by stamp set. We're going to have to look at both of those. Um, <clears throat> so I make sure I have them. Yes. So the driving by stamp set is also a free celebration choice with your $50 order. So what I had to do, because if you can see that little convertible car, that's the one that has the balloons. I actually cut the balloons off of that. It's one of the red rubber, the cling stamp. So it was easy to just kind of snip right through there. And you could put it right back together too if you want to. Um, have that stamp intact but I thought it was so cute how she put the balloons flying out from behind the van on her card right so that's kind of fun right so there's your little um, driving by stamp and then I hadn't really used those are the little floral embellishments um, with last year's in colors I can't remember what those are called um, but you just put a little glue dot down and kind of add those on one of I think this was a little spot where I got some ink on my card and I was like oh well there's the perfect spot to add an embellishment right because that's what we do right we always say mistakes are just opportunities to embellish right so just cover it up with a little embellishment and you never know and then we've got that um, hope you have the best birthday with that little label and I think to we do something on the inside too oh we just put the back side hello mike how are you <laughs> thanks for joining us we just use the back side so there is the the kind of a little bit more detailed bright bold designer series paper and then the back side of it has that really nice kind of soft like washed look to it so i just wanted to add a little strip so people could see both sides of that designer series paper so that's one of the make and takes that we made again featuring lots of celebration choices that you can get free with your 50 dollars orders now through the end of the month and then this other one is super cute again featuring more of just um not just well rainbow and sunshine designer series paper this time thought this one was super cute and then with the otter stamp set this one i found on pinterest um jennifer rogue is the gal who created this card and she is at stamp camp with jen it's just one n so stamp camp with j-e-n dot com is where you can find her and this was the card that i found on pinterest that she had created again featuring that rainbow and sunshine designer series paper and these are my two favorites i've used the polka dots and the stripes like a million times i have to use the rainbows a little bit more and i will because i still have a few weeks to do that and then the cute little otter with his little birthday hat on and we colored him in with the blends which is so fun to do also and then we've got on the inside oh we've got the cute little you are your right you are otterly awesome and then more of that fun the stripey designer series paper so let me just show you guys those are in my little stampin up brochure let's see so with the rainbow and sunshine designer series paper that's the paper that we used again free with your $50 order and then the awesome otter let me flip that there we go the awesome otter stamp set also free with a $50 order so you've got lots of things if you have not ordered lately now is the time um, and if you think you don't need anything think about maybe Christmas cards um, holiday projects that you want to make for next year stock up get what you need your basics your card stock your adhesive your envelopes any of those things that you need for regular card making or like I said maybe start getting some things um, that you need to make your holiday cards and then you can get free stuff too it's like the perfect time um, to <clears throat> to do that, right? To order and get free products as well. Thank you, Philomena. I'm glad you enjoyed those make and takes too. And I am, I know I mentioned um, online bingo because I always think of Philomena, she likes to do online bingo. I'm looking at, I think, I think it's in April sometime is what I figured out is probably, um, cause February is crazy already. And then March is pretty crazy and we have spring break too. Um, so I'm kind of, I'm trying not to like overpack my schedule. I feel like <laughs> that's kind of happened this month. And I think it's because we're doing so much traveling for basketball too. So it's not even um, work. Well, work is crazy too um, with year end always. Um, in my accounting life also. January is always super busy. And then we've been traveling a lot for basketball. So yeah, so I'm just trying to kind of manage it all. But I'm thinking online bingo we're going to do probably in April is what I was looking at. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. 
Um, so yeah, then we'll have some fun make and takes for that bingo as well. Okay, let's see, just so many good things to show you guys. Um, what else, what else do we wanna share? Um, okay, let's see, yep. Yep, 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 okay. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to make sure. Oh, I know what I wanna show you guys. Um, designer series paper share. I still have one left, so I wanted to show you, I don't know if I've shown like an actual designer series paper share, but I don't know if you guys can see how much paper you get in this paper share, and that is like super like glittery beautiful, isn't it, right? So this is $35, that's all it is for this paper share. You get all of this designer series paper. Um, if you do need it shipped to you, it's an additional $9 shipping. Porch pickup is another option, and then that's free, right? So I have to show you the little, the beautiful glittery. Can you guys even, I don't know if you can see that very well with the, Beautiful bright sunshine that we have today, but look, oh, there you go, right? The pretty blue and pink sparkly paper. And then we've got some four by six. This is a great little review of the designer series paper in the um, mini catalog too. So there's the four by six paper. Can't remember the name of that one. And then we've got some six by six paper. And I do throw in here um, samples of our celebration designer series paper too so some of this can you guys see that um is oops are you guys maybe if i what if i go this way i think oh there that's better amy yeah okay there we go so you kind of get the idea right oh there's the rainbow and sunshine um that's a celebration paper right and so that's the six by six and then we have a bunch of 12 by 12 paper too so let me show you that so like I said, I have this one left. If I get more people than one that wanna do it, I need four. <laughs> so I either need one person or I need four people, or five, actually one or five, right? To do another, because um, I basically get like um, one pack and divide it four ways. So here, this is the um, flowering fields. Is that what it was called? Flowering fields, yes, that's what we're gonna be. <laughs> All of a sudden I'm blanking out. And then this is the designer series paper, the artfully composed that we are using on my class to go this month. There's the daffodil paper from Celebration. Don't remember the name of that one. We got some other, ooh, the um, masculine paper. Oh, and the Valentine's paper. This is so cute, I love that Valentine paper. This is actually like a super shimmery the glare is crazy for me right now. I I do find when I watch the Facebook Live back, it's not as bad, thankfully, as what I'm seeing. Um, and then this is some vellum, that printed vellum paper. And then this beautiful um, gold accented paper also. So lots and lots of paper you can get in the paper share, $35. I just need one person that wants that paper, let me know, and I can put it out on the porch for you, or I can ship it to you if you need it shipped to you, okay? Um, the other things I want to tell you guys about, because <clears throat> we have fun stuff going on during celebration, one thing is what I call celebration celebration. And it's basically a party that I do to say thank you for um, supporting me and my business during celebration. You earn your spot at this party, free party, where we have gifts, prizes, giveaways, make and takes, just uh, maybe some snacks and treats. It's just a fun um, party to say thank you to everyone, like I said, that um, orders during celebration. Well, orders or, I've got a few different ways that you can earn your spot. So first one is to host a private party or class. We can do it right at the church if you don't wanna clean your house or worry about your cats or your dogs or your kids or your husband. Uh, we can do it right at the, um, at the, at the church um, and get a group of like friends, family together and have some fun making cards basically. Um, you just need to, like I said, invite friends that wanna come and play with us. Um, if you uh, have sales over $300 at your party, you will get that Calming Camellia stamp set as well, right? Plus $36 in free product for your host rewards for hosting the party, right? So that's one way if you host a private party or class. The second way is if you buy the starter kit, you guys know that awesome starter kit deal, right? You get to pick $125 in product and two free stamp sets and pay only $99 plus sales tax. It's the most amazing deal. I love that. Um, Pick the like most expensive stamp sets that you can't live without. You could, what did I figure out? If you got the most expensive stamp sets, this is like getting $130 for free in the starter kit. If you figure, 
<clears throat> excuse me, paying like tax and shipping on all of that. It's nuts. Like it's like more than buy one, get one free, more than half off. Um, so anyway, it's an amazing deal. Plus you get 20% all off of all of your orders after you buy the starter kit too. So it's a great deal. Um, don't worry, a lot of people say, I don't wanna be a demonstrator. Well, you don't have to do Facebook Lives. You don't have to do parties and classes. All you need to do is love Stampin' Up! products and wanna get a discount on them. Most people consider themselves what we say, what we call hobby stampers, basically just meaning they wanna buy their stuff and get a discount on it and then you never know what can happen uh, down the road maybe you have friends family um, like this car was going by really slowly I'm like oh hopefully no one's coming here right now <laughs> anyway they didn't they didn't pull in so that's good um, but yeah you never know if maybe you end up with friends and family that want to um, you know, come over and play and make cute cards with you and maybe kind of very organically, maybe a class starts or you do parties or that sort of thing. So you don't have to be a demonstrator, but sometimes people kind of fall into that role and really enjoy it as well. So, and I'm here to support anybody at whatever level you want to be um, a demonstrator at, whether it's just to get your discount or if you want to build a business, I can help you with that too. So love for you to get that starter kit and earn your spot at the celebration celebration. And then the third way is if if you spend um, $150 or more during celebration. So basically in all of January or February, you can earn your spot at the celebration celebration if you spend over $150. Now I will tell you, we'll do the party here locally at the church where I'm holding my classes and events now. If you are long distance, hello Cindy, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Um, if you're long distance, I will put your make and takes together, your treat, any prizes, and mail them all to you. So I will definitely make sure to take care of anybody that's long distance. Um, I truly appreciate your orders and support and I love to be able to say thank you with these fun tri prizes and treats. So those three ways to earn your spot at the sale celebration celebration and we will do that sometime in March is my plan um, I think I waited and did it in April last year which I kind of liked that too because then I was able to get some new annual catalog products so I'm still kind of playing with the date on that but I'll keep you posted um, on when we're gonna do that okay all right, what else? Oh, the other fun thing I have decided to do is a one day retreat. We have kind of, I tried to do them as, well, I had them all scheduled in 2020 and then COVID hit and I, we had to cancel the one in April. And then I think I did end up canceling the one in November because COVID got super crazy um, here last November as well. And then last year I just was like, I can't even like, it was too hard to plan things like that, right? You just never knew. But I'm like, okay, I'm feeling good. I've decided we are doing this. We are going to have a one-day retreat right here in Elma. It's 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. on Saturday, April 18th, and we're going to do it over at the Peace Lutheran Church. Um, we'll have everything all set up. There are big six-foot-long tables. Everyone will get their own six-foot-long table. Lots of beautiful windows. It's kind of, it's actually not out in the country at all, but somehow um, there are woods kind of right behind um, the church, and so there are lots of deer out there, so there's lots of like nature watching too um, while you're crafting maybe um, and I'll feed you and we have make and takes and prizes um, like little snack and candy buffet is out all the time um, so you don't have to worry about anything except bringing whatever you want to play with and work on for the day and come hang out and do that so again Saturday April 18th from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. right here in Alma um, love for you to come like do a little road trip too and come hang out with us and craft with us um, um, hello, Susan. Welcome. Um, let's see. We have, um, what else do I need to tell you guys? It's $64 for the entire day, and that includes an awesome goodie bag valued um, at at least $30 in product. So lots and lots of good stuff for you there. Let me know if you have any questions on that, because I would love to get you signed up for that. I will tell you, too, if you RSVP um, and prepay by March 20th, you actually get another special treat from me as a thank you for signing up early and final RSVPs are due by Friday, April 3rd. Okay. So let me know if you have any questions on that. All right. Let's see what else do I want to show you guys, share with you so many things. 
Did I tell everybody about? Okay, yep, yep, yep. Oh, club member drive. That's the other thing I just wanna to mention too. I have a number of different clubs. Locally, there is the Simple Beautiful Card Club where we make cards the second Friday of every month from one to three. Then we have the Scrapbook Club where we make scrapbook pages the last Tuesday of every month. Those two are local in-person uh, events. And then the last way to join a club is to join our Class To Go Club, which is the awesome every single month Month, I pick a stamp set. Usually it's a bundle, maybe stamp set and punch or dies. Um, and then we throw in some other embellishments and we basically make cute projects with them. Um, so if you're interested in joining any of those clubs, you actually get a free celebration choice just for signing up for um, any three of those clubs during celebration. So love to have you do that. If you want more info, I'm going to show you the class to go when we flip the camera down so you can see what we're making this one. And I do always say, so we have the couple of different options. You can pick either option number one or option number two um, for the class to go. Uh, thank you, Philomena. I'm so, I love that you love the classes to go. She's a great person to um, ask questions of too, because she's been doing it for a year or two now, I think, um, the class to go kits each month. I will tell you though, and if there's ever a time when you're like, Amy, I just really don't like that stamp set or those dies, and I just don't want to make those cards, that's okay. I'm not offended. I try to pick things that I think everyone's going to love, but sometimes I miss the mark, right? So if that's the case, um, you can can tell me I'm just gonna skip this month that's not a big deal we'll just add on a month um, to the end of your club membership all the club memberships are a 12 month membership you actually in addition to getting a free celebration choice if you sign up for a club um, during my uh, club member drive which ends on February 28th you also get at least $30 in free host product one month that you're the host of the club and then I always make cute treats for you guys and send those out in the class to go or I have them at my local classes so love to have um, lots of you sign up for um, any of those clubs. I'm definitely looking for more attendance at local classes and um, more to-go kits. I love to put those to-go kits together and send them out to you. It's like happy mail, right? Like a little gift in the mail <laughs> and the best treats. Thank you, Philomena. I'm going to show you guys the treat that I made for everybody last month in just a moment, actually. Um, okay, I think, yeah, we are good. I've talked a lot, right? Mm-hmm. I, I have some little note on here that I can't even read my writing. <laughs> uh-huh. All right. Oh, I know what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> that you could get any of those products that I just showed you. For example, on um, the Bingo Make and Takes, you could get the Designer Series paper, the Otter stamp set, this Marble Designer Series paper, or the um, Van stamp set. You could get any of those free um, if you join a club and as part of the club member drive, you can get any of those celebration choices for free just for signing up for a club. So yeah, that's what my little, I was like, what the heck was I trying to say there? Okay, so now we are going to do our first drawing of the morning. The iridescent rhinestones are what we're going to give away today. Can you guys even see those? There we go, if I put them in the right light. And I do believe that these are unorderable right now. We don't even put things on back order right now because of the global shipping crisis, which when the heck is that going to end, right? Um, anyway, we have the iridescent rhinestones. This one lucky winner is going to win these right now because I don't think, like I said, I feel like uh, you can order them like in another week or two. They're supposed to be in. So not, not too long away, but one lucky girl is going to get them right now. Okay. So hello, Teresa. How are you? Thanks for joining us. So you got your name in the drawing as usual for sharing the video. Like I said, I'm meeting new friends, making new friends, seeing new names pop up. And I love that. So thank you. I think it's because you guys are helping me out and sharing the Facebook live videos, especially on your paper grafting groups. I truly love that. And then also, um, if you're new and have not signed up for my email list, if you do that, I include the link to do that above this Facebook live video um, after I get it posted and uploaded this afternoon. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Okay, so one lucky winner right here, either for sharing the video or signing up for my email list. And our winner is Miss Debbie Green. I don't know if I can ever like put that in there so you can read it. But Debbie, I will get your iridescent rhinestone jewels sent out to you. So thank you for sharing the video. She's always a good sharer of the video. All right, I'm going to dump those names out, make sure I get all those out, and then ready for the next drawing. Okay, 
So now, what do you guys think we're gonna give away um, on the next Facebook Live that we do? We have, these are the pebble enamel shapes. I've seen these used a lot with the otters too, you know, like they're swimming in the water and maybe they're in a river or something and they're a little pebbles. So these are super cute and fun to kind of coordinate with the um, otter, the awesome otter stamp set. So you're welcome, Debbie. <laughs> yes, woohoo. <laughs> okay, so this is what we'll give away on our next Facebook Live, the pebble enamel shapes. They're just kind of fun. They're like little rock shapes and they have glue dots on the back of them. So they're super easy to work with as well. Okay, we got that, we got that, we got that. All right, I think, are we ready? Um, we're almost ready. I have to say a welcome, first of all, to our newest Inkspired stamper. We want to welcome, let me make sure all of a sudden I'm like, yes, Shauna Hughes. I was like, wait, what's Shauna's last name? And I thought it was Hughes, but I didn't want to say if it wasn't. So yes, Miss Shauna Hughes, congratulations. She got that awesome starter kit deal. She picked $125 in product. She picked two free stamp sets. She paid $99 plus sales tax. And now she's gonna get 20% off all of her orders. Plus she's now a part of our Inkspired Stampers group. So that's pretty darn special. So congratulations, congratulations, Shauna, and welcome to our Inkspired Stampers team. We are happy to have you as a part of our group. So congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, Deb. You're always so sweet and so gracious, as everyone is on here. So thank you. I appreciate that, guys. Okay, I think, are we ready? We are ready. Yes, we are to do our next drawing. Okay, um, make sure. Yes. So we are giving away the, where did it go? Oh, I moved it over here. The special moment stamp set. You got your name in the drawing to win the stamp set. If you put an online order in of at least $30 and used the host code, your name is in right now to win the special moment stamp set. You definitely automatically get the two cards that I demonstrated that featured that calming camellia stamp set, right? That we'll give away in a little bit in March. Um, these two cards, you're gonna get these as a thank you for sure for any order over $30. You get these two cards as a thank you. If you bumped your order up to $50, you get to pick from the free embellishment, which were the polished dots. Can we see those if we get in there? Kind of a real pretty pale pink and then kind of a clear sparkly bauble. These are beautiful, right? So you get to pick from that free embellishment or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. I have my February tutorial here with 3D projects and my project is actually my club member treat that I made for everybody. These fun little, um, this is Lori, that's cute. Congratulations, welcome Shauna. Um, so these little treats, it's like a little pull out um, little Debbie snack cake, maybe called like a Starburst Crunch. So you just lift that right out of there, right? But if you want to know exactly how to make this, if you put your online order in of at least $50, you can pick the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial and learn exactly how to make that cute little treat too. If you don't need Valentine treats too, just change it up. Just pick a different um, start. I always start with the designer series paper, whatever colors coordinate in that designer series paper, like a real red. I've got my real red ribbon and paper and and then my Highland Heather cardstock there also. And then same ink colors too, real red and Highland Heather for my stamping. Some real red rhinestones, right? So, so simple, right? Just pick a designer series paper and you can build around that. So fun little treat box there, right? Okay, so yeah, lots and lots of good stuff you get to pick from. Plus, obviously, if you bumped your order up to $50 in addition to the PDF tutorial or the free embellishment, you also get a celebration choice right now. It's like ridiculous how much free stuff you get, like unbelievable, right? Plus, one lucky gal is gonna win this special moment stamp set. We're gonna do that drawing right now. All right, let me make sure. Yep, okay. All right, I had to make sure the names were all in there. Okay, here we go. One lucky lady is winning the special moment stamp set. And it is Miss Kathy Hilliard. All right, congratulations, Kathy. Marsha, oh, you're in Florida, nice. My sister's down in Florida right now too. You're probably there maybe all the time or for the winter, right? So very good. Love that you're joining us today. Thank you, Marsha, for joining us. So yes, Kathy, I will get your stamp set sent out to you. So thank you very much for your order. 
All right, do you guys wanna know what we're gonna give away? Where is it? On our next Facebook Live, if you put an online order in of at least $30, but right, why not bump it up to $50 and get your free celebration choice? Your name is gonna go in the drawing to get this super duper duper cute, the Catching Butterflies stamp set. I think I showed you guys or I've been sharing online. I found a card um, on Pinterest, again, that used the sweet little girl with the butterfly net and the butterflies. Um, we made that card at um, the Simple Beautiful card class. It was one I cased from Pinterest as well. I love to do that, guys. I'm running out of time to design cards, and there are so many cute cards online already, um, so why not just use um, fun ideas that other people have come up with on Pinterest? Or use them as a jumping off point. That's another great um, thing that I like to do, too, to kind of get your wheels turning. Big Pine Key till April 1st from Wisconsin. Nice. That is awesome, Marcia. <laughs> Sounds like much better weather. You probably uh, talk to friends and family back in Wisconsin. They tell you how much snow we have right now, right? So you're just happy to be in Florida, I bet. Very cool. Well, good. Thank you for hanging out with us. You're probably like sitting on the beach or something watching Facebook Live right now, right? So yeah, anyway, if you put an online order in of at least $30, you're gonna get your name in the drawing to win that super cute catching butterfly stamp set on our next Facebook Live. Okay, I think, let me just check my notes. I have done a lot of talking here, but I think we are ready to flip the camera down. Oh, plus don't forget you also get your name in the drawing to win. I've already got a couple right here. The Calming Camellia stamp set with your $50 order as many sets as I get. I keep telling you guys that I'm going to give one of those away or as many, give them away to as many people as I can. All right. I think we're good. We're going to flip the camera down. Okay. Let me get my desk cleared off a little bit here. <laughs> oh, oh, not near a beach. Okay. That's all right. It's still beautiful and warm, right? <laughs> I haven't been to big, big, Big Pine Key. Nope, I haven't been there before, so I don't really know, but I'm sure it's, like I said, it's got to be more, um, it's better weather for sure than what we have right here right now, right? Okay, so we're going to flip the camera down. Turn your heads away for a sec. We are flying through the air, ladies. Okay. See, I'm always so afraid I'm going to push this button on the side that I don't want to push. Okay, we're in there all right let's see we're flipping the camera around okay there we go so i wanted to show you guys here's my sampler again there's a little bit of a glare but we're going to kind of go with it um and see maybe there's a little bit of a cloud too right okay so again this is that daffodil afternoon sampler isn't it? it's just beautiful i think all of um just little hints of the designer series paper on these pages too. Love the stripes and the plaid there. Also, this is really cool too, that honey, honey bee or honeycomb. Isn't that awesome? That embossing folder there. I love that. I need that one. Yes. Yeah. So great. Um, lots of ideas here, right? On um, things that you can do with your celebration daffodil afternoon designer series paper. Oh, very cool. Mar <laughs> Deb is from there. Oh, that's awesome, Deb. I did not know that. There we go. Okay, so there's your Daffodil Afternoon, the 12 by 12 designer series paper. We've got some beautiful cards there. And then also that Daffodil Daydream um, bundle is what's featured there too on the sampler as well. Okay, so I just had to show you guys that again because I feel like um, sometimes you can see it better, you know, down here than you can um, when I show it. Um, and it's not backwards anymore, right? So that's good too. Okay, so I want to tell you guys about our latest class to go. Let me get all my things here, right? Beautiful. Oh my gosh, so much good stuff. Let me get my notes here too. Because I know I, I made a boo-boo on my email and I need to get that updated with the next one that I send out to you guys there. Are we in view now? There, I think we're kind of in view, right? Okay, so this is the Artfully Composed Class to Go featuring the Artfully Layered stamp set. We've got Happiest Birthday Wishes, Sending All the Hugs. I don't know why, I just love that. Hey there and thank you. And then some really pretty imagery, which of course coordinates 
with these are called the tropical layers dies, right? So bundled together, you can see like this stamp is cut with this die, this stamp is cut with this die, and then there's some other detailed ones. And then this one is kind of fun. Um, it just kind of, this one and this one both, they just add some kind of texture. They don't actually cut things, but they just, they emboss basically, yes. Um, okay, so that bundle, we also, um, are going to include the faux sea glass shapes and the white frayed ribbon. And then actually from my designer series paper share, I can show you guys again, the artfully composed designer series paper. I'm trying to make sure I only have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so beautiful like bold um, kind of floral patterns on one side leafy floral and then more subtle and I see like some of these colors especially are going to be great for masculine cards too like these two right here I would say even the um, pear pizzazz one there so and sometimes it's great like you'll right use kind of some like crazy bold pattern and then pair it with kind of a more subtle um, washed background paper as well so you okay then eh, let me show you the cards now and then we'll tell you about the options that are available so if you kind of get the idea, right? Okay, so we've got this one, sending all the hugs. Hey, you, uh, thank you, and happiest birthday wishes. And obviously, if you wanted all thank yous or all birthdays, you could do that on all of these cards. I like to just kind of make sure I use as many stamps in the stamp set as I can to kind of show you what you could do, and then you can always change things up because they're your cards, right? Okay, so option number one includes the bundle, the stamp set, and the dies. It includes the faux sea glass shapes, the white frayed ribbon and a quarter pack of the designer series paper plus all I'll cut everything everything except what needs to be stamped and die cut will be done for you you'll get your ribbon your gems and your DSP you'll cut those and put those together right you also get to pick a free celebration choice and actually the designer series paper is free and option number one so you get lots and lots of free goodies plus that PDF tutorial that tells you how to put the projects together right option number one is $91 option number two is if you already have the artfully layered stamp set and dies that's a $53 value right there for the stamp set and the dies right if you already have these you can get option number two don't pick option number two if you don't have the stamp set and dies because you do have to do your own stamping and die cutting right you're going to get the faux sea glass shapes the white frayed ribbon and a quarter of a pack of the designer series paper plus the parts and pieces and the pdf tutorial option number two is 34 dollars, and that's what i made a boo-boo on in my email i think it said three dollars which is not right obviously it's 34 dollars for um, option number two, option number one and option number two, you can select porch pickup. Obviously there's no additional fee for that. If you need it shipped to you, it's an additional $9 priority mail shipping fee. Option number three is the PDF tutorial that just tells you how to put the projects together. You're gonna do it all on your own. It's $15 or free to anyone that's in my downline. Any of my current expired stampers get those PDF tutorials for free every single month. And then option number four is also for my downline, they can get the make and takes, all the parts and pieces um, to put the projects together. They do still need their stamp set and dies. Option number four is $12 for the make and takes for my downline. Uh, RSVPs are due two weeks from today on Friday, February 18th, and kits will ship out no later than March 2nd. So let me know if you're interested. These are just beautiful. Speaking of Marsha down in Florida, right? Oh my gosh, this makes me think of Florida or Hawaii, anywhere, somewhere like tropical and warm, which is not Michigan right now, right? Okay, so love to get one of these kits sent out to you. So much fun putting those projects together every single month, I think, anyway. I hope you guys agree. Okay, so let's see. We're going to give you new host code for February. I'm going to give you that while I get myself organized here. There. This XUE73H32 is our host code for the month. All right, I just need to find my grid paper. Oh, yeah, I've got my, my paper, pumpkin grid paper. I found this stashed away. I'm like, oh, why have I not been using this paper? All right, so there we go. We know we're in view, right? Our <laughs> paper pumpkin, it's better than a box full of puppies. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Well, it's a little bit easier to take care of, right? <laughs> than a box of puppies would be. Mm. Okay, needed some water. All right, which card are we gonna do first? <laughs> Let's do 
We're gonna do this card first. Okay, so again, featuring our, where's my stamp set? It moved away from me. Did it? Where did it go? Oh, right down here, okay. <laughs> Sorry, featuring the special moments stamp set, right? Thanks for brightening up my day, right? And then also that designer series paper, the Flowering Fields designer series paper, one of my favorites. And like I said, I love finding designer series paper that's gonna work well with a sentiment stamp set like this and kind of featuring the designer series paper and then obviously the sentiments as well. Okay, so let me tell you, kind of show you how we put these together let's get this stuff all right too much stuff on the crafter mat <laughs> has definitely taken over this table today all right let's see we've got some fun here we've got our stamps and our ribbon i love this ribbon this is called the it's evening evergreen the window pane check ribbon isn't that cool and it actually is really easy to tie um we can make our bow even right now right as i'm kind of talking about how easy it is to tie it and i'll pull that right through there so i've already got my bow made for this card simple easy peasy right okay i'm gonna snip that off there so yeah, that's the window pane check ribbon. All right, let's grab all of our parts and pieces here. We've got a couple of them. Keep my bow up there. <laughs> I have a lot going on here already. All right, I feel like the glare. <laughs> yeah, we're moving the table. Hold on. And it gets worse before it gets better. Because of course that's how it is. There we go. Now we're out of the, if you guys could see how far I have to drag this table. <laughs> I think I have some good like skid mark things underneath the table. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really pay that much attention to my floor. That's okay. Anything for you guys so that we don't have a glare, right? Okay. So here we have our Highland Heather card base. We're going to start with that, right? So our cardstock, the eight and a half by 11 cardstock. Along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. <laughs> Good, I'm glad that's better, Deb, thank you. All right, so there's our card base, right? Then we have our piece of that beautiful, the Flowering Fields designer series paper with just that kind of wash on the back there, right? This one measures four by five and a quarter inches. On the inside, we did the same thing with our Whisper White also measuring the four by five and a quarter. And then I just have that little strip. Again, that's the back side of the paper. This is just a half an inch by five and a quarter inches. And that's just gonna go on the bottom right there. Okay, then what else do we have? Oops, my bow's kind of popping off there. Everything else is just pieces that we're gonna use to make our card. So we've got some Rich Razzleberry, some Highland Heather, Evening Evergreen, and Basic White. This is for our stamping and die cutting. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we will put our card together. Okay, so we're gonna stamp on this one and we're gonna stamp on this one. Okay, so in Highland Heather ink, we're actually using the Blessings of Home stamp set. Hi, Diana, how are you? So we're gonna use this stamp right here and we're gonna stamp it in Highland Heather ink on Highland Heather cardstock. And actually that I've already got pulled out right here. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Okay, as always, you guys know, nice, easy tap, tap, tap. Right, and we're gonna press straight down and press firmly and lift up. And, and I like that, that it's, I think this ink pad might need to be um, re-inked a little bit, but I like that it's just kind of a soft subtle there also. Okay, then on this piece, we are actually going to stamp our Evening Evergreen with our sentiment, the thanks for brightening up my day. Okay, we're gonna stamp that one right there, okay? And then on the inside, don't forget, we're gonna do that, I think you are wonderful. That's also from the Special Moments stamp set. So in our Highland Heather ink. Okay, so we're gonna die cut both of these, actually all four of those. And then on our basic white card, 
stock. Okay, we've got, I think you're wonderful. We're gonna see if we can line that up. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, there we go. So that's our stamping. All right, let's do, actually I'm gonna clean my ink off right now so I can get the stamps out of the way. I've got my little, um, what is this? My chamois, my Simply Chamois. Okay, I'm just gonna clean those babies off. All right, there we go. Scoot those back out of the way. And let me grab my die cutting machine. It feels like it's a million miles away since I dragged the table over here. <laughs> okay, here we go. We are using a couple of different dies on this project. This one is also the, what are these called? The Flowers of Home dies. So this is a bundle also, the Blessings of Home stamp set, and then the Flowers of Home dies. You can see these two images right here are these two dies, and then lots of other complimentary. I've used these little spriggy flowery things a lot. Um, I love just those little, you know, when you need a little something else, a little texture, a little dimension, um, these little guys are really nice to just, um, you know, put behind a sentiment or something. I think I did that um, maybe even on our last, yeah, this one right here on our last Facebook Live, those little dies right there are probably like this one and this one are what I used on that card right there also. Okay, so we've got that one. And let's see, can I fit another one? I need to fit one more on here. Let's put our circle, our sentiment with our layering circle dies. And let me make sure these are out for another thing too, but that's the one right there. Okay, that one has to be, is that the largest? Looks like it's the largest circle. Yep. Okay, so this one we need to line up and make sure that we die cut this well. And then that one we need to line up too. I'm gonna bring that down a little bit. Okay, there we go. All right, so we've got these. Okay, there was my scallop circle that I needed <laughs> for this also. It's kind of layered behind there and I forgot about it. Okay, so these are gonna pop right out and then we're gonna do some more die cutting. All right. Those two right there. So then again, from the layering circle dies, this is going to be the third largest scallop edge die is going to go on our Emerald Envy cardstock. I'm gonna scoot that down there because then I need my Rich Razzleberry cardstock and we are going to use this one is from the Seasonal Labels dies. Use these eyes all the time. You guys know me, my, la my label dies. So these are all great, right? The labels, right? And then here's this big one. We're gonna use that big one right there on this card. Okay, so we're gonna just lay that right on there. And then these, as long as they're on the cardstock, don't have to be lined up any more than that. Okay. Sorry for the wiggle. We'll get through this. There we go. Okay, and these are gonna pop right out also. So easy. There we go. Okay, we're gonna move this guy out of the way. All right. Okay, now I think we are ready to put our card together. So lots of layers, colors, beautiful. But again, it's the beauty of Stampin' Up, right? This designer series paper is what's driving all of the colors that I used on here. So we've got our Highland Heather right there. We've got a Rich Razzleberry right there and our Evening Evergreen right there along with that Evening Evergreen ribbon. So truly the beauty of Stampin' Up is all of that color coordination. All right. I'm trying to ignore my dry throat. And actually, let's grab this little guy here too. We are gonna use this guy. We're gonna put this little strip that I put on the inside, on the basic white piece on the inside of our card. We're gonna do that one first, okay? And we're just gonna kinda, this is my new favorite thing, is to add a little bit of designer series paper to the inside of the card so that you can see um, Kind of all of the different patterns in the paper, right? So you see one side on the front 
and the other side on the back, okay? Then we are going to add our designer series paper right to our card base. Okay, we've got that one. Ooh, look at, isn't that paper so pretty? Beautiful, right? Okay, then we have this huge label. Add a bunch of adhesive on the back of that guy. We're gonna put him maybe right about there, right? Then we are going to put adhesive behind both of these guys. Okay, so we're gonna put this circle maybe right about there, and then this flower, I think, right about there. And then we're gonna put some dimensionals behind this sentiment. The thanks for brightening up my day. Okay, I love that sentiment too, right? Lots of different times and occasions you could send a sentiment like that, right? Oops, so I thought there was something extra there I didn't need. All right, we're gonna grab our glue dots and we're going to add a glue dot onto our ribbon and put that right there. I do wanna trim this one down just a little bit. Here we go. Okay, and we have just maybe one or two more little things to do. We are gonna add a couple of, these are the 2021, 2023 in color jewels. And I just wanted to add a couple to my flowers. So we're gonna put one right inside there and we're gonna do one right inside there. And then I added one more little baby one and these are actually what, is it um, Fresh Freesia? But see, the purples all work really well together, don't they? So we've got those right there. And then lastly, because I just couldn't stop, ladies, I had to add a little bit of my Wink of Stella just to kind of add a little more sparkle. And this is my favorite thing to do with this Wink of Stella to kind of wake it up and get it moving is just kind of roll it in my hand. I tend not to shake it. And then just once you've, um, you don't twist this because you don't want to pull everything apart. You just pull that off and then we're just going to squeeze a little bit and just going to kind of add a little bit of sparkle. And this will be a little bit harder to see um, until it dries, right? But we're just going to kind of sparkle up our flowers a bit and I'll show you on the one that I've already done. If you can see the sparkle in there, I can see it a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see it, but hopefully you can. But just a little bit of, a little bit of sparkle with that Wink of Stella. It's such a cute name too, right? Wink of Stella. <laughs> I like it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that was card number one, right? Again, featuring that special moment stamp set and the Flowering Fields Designer Series paper. Okay, let's get that one out of the way and I'm gonna show you this other one that has a little bit of a fun fold to it. Okay, let's scoot these babies. And I'm gonna put this one right over here so I can find it again, right? Okay, so here is our next card. Again, love this designer series paper. So we've got more of the Flowering Fields designer series paper. And then this sentiment, I couldn't wait for a special occasion where would I be without a friend like you? Isn't that awesome? What a great um, sentiment just to send to a friend just to say hi. I couldn't wait for a special occasion. I just wanted to say hi because I think you're a really awesome friend, right? And then that fun fold with the designer series paper on the inside there also. Okay, so let me tell you about this one. Oh, and I should show you. This was a swap. And again, did I... I don't think I, I took it out of the sleeve that told me who made this card, but I loved that layout also. And so I was like, okay, here we go. We're gonna, this is my inspiration for this card. This Christmas card that I received as a swap is the inspiration for our project today. Okay, all right, let's see. Let me get my things out here again. Mango Melody ink this time. I've got everything. I've got some little notes here. Okay, so let's talk about dimensions first and then I'll show you the products a little bit more. Okay, so this is actually my card base. We're gonna do this here. 
Yeah, so it is still a full sheet of cardstock, eight and a half by 11 inches. We cut it in half like we always do along the 11 inch side at five and a half inches. And then we actually scored it. I'm gonna flip it this way. I got just, it doesn't really matter. Hmm, isn't that funny? Okay, I guess I did want it this way. I'm like looking at my notes. We scored it at two and three quarter inches and at seven inches. So right there, two and three quarter and at seven inches. And again, like I always do, I will have a blog post uploaded to my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon that will give you all of the scoring, dimensions, colors, item codes, everything that you need to know to order and recreate these projects. Okay. Um, so if you missed anything, you'll be able to find that there this afternoon. Okay. So yeah, this piece, so we're going to score or after we've scored it, then we're going to fold right along both of those. So that's how our card's going to open like that. Then we have our designer series paper that measures five and one quarter by two and a half. And that's going to go on that side. And then the other one measures five and one quarter by one and one quarter. And that is what's going to go over on that side. Okay. Then we have on the inside, as usual, our four by five and a quarter inch piece goes right inside there. And then just a little teeny tiny strip that measures one half inch by four inches that goes on the inside there to decorate the inside of our card. Okay, just like we did on that one. All right, then I just have pieces of Mango Melody and Basic White cardstock that we are going to use to do our stamping and our die cutting. Okay. All right, so let's do, we're gonna do our stamping on both of these pieces, and then we'll do our die cutting. And I noticed there was a little something weird with my Mango Melody ink pads. I think I need to call Stampin' Up about this, but we're gonna do our best to, it was like I re-inked it and it didn't sink in or something. Um, it's almost like, I don't know if my ink pad got cold, but I'm gonna test this out because I think we're gonna be all right. Yep, there we go. You might not even be able to see it. Um, but when I opened it up, I was like, oh, what's going on with this ink pad? There we go. I couldn't wait for a special occasion. Where would I be without a friend like you? There we go. Okay, let's get those guys up there. Okay, so now we're going to do our die cutting. This time I used, oh, where did those dies go? Mm-hmm. So those dies that we're using right here, are those two dies that are supposed to be right here, but I must have used them. My brain is like, <laughs> like it's like mud right now, trying to think about where are those. Let me go find those dies real quick, ladies. Oh my goodness, what did I? I know I've used them on another project, and I must have done that. And on my craft table because I'm using them on a apparently you know once I find something that I like I have to use it a couple of times it's kind of like when I find a sweater that I like I have to buy it in a couple of different colors <laughs> does anyone else do that okay so yeah so these dies are from the hippo and friends dies love the labels again the label dies because they're so cool the shapes are awesome aren't they okay so let's get this and this and this let's do our die cutting All right, so we're gonna do our sentiment. We turn that that way, and then this one can go on here. So there's that one. I couldn't wait for a special occasion, and that one's good. Uh, that one I feel like is not good. Did it move on me, or did it, was I just thinking it looked good and it wasn't? That's better, there we go. Who knows, right, ladies? <laughs> Thank you, Philomena. The car, the colors are beautiful, aren't they? It's all stamping up too. I think it's um because Mango Melody is a color that I don't use that often, and I do like it. Um, so I don't really know. Maybe they don't feature it a lot on um, like designer series paper, but we're definitely using it today. Okay, so I think are we ready to go? We've got all our parts and pieces here. I think so. Let's see. We're gonna use. This again for our little strip. This is my new, well, I always love using my little silicone mat because I really don't like when I get sticky on my grid paper. It's very frustrating to me because then things are always sticking to it, right? When I get adhesive on my grid paper. Okay, 
So we'll put this one on the inside again, get our inside decorated. I'm gonna flip those over so those are ready to go too. Okay, if I can flip them over. Ooh, that side's pretty too, isn't it? Okay, so there's the inside of our card. Isn't that beautiful though? More tulips on there, right? And that's just like kind of a nice subtle pattern. And then that's kind of fun, right? That's another good like masculine one, right? When we need to make our masculine projects. Okay. Oops, I'm sticking to myself. All right, let's put, this one's gonna go on that little flap right there. Isn't that funny? Like I'm calling this a fun fold um, mainly because I think it's fun and because I haven't ever done it before and I don't really know how that's possible. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. Boy, I just hit, I went to like move my hair a little bit and okay, we're all good. <laughs> sorry, is everyone awake now? <laughs> if you weren't before, you are now, right? Okay, so then we have these doilies that are called the heart and home doilies that coordinate with the whole heart and home bundle. So I'm gonna show you guys these. Um, very pretty. There's um, the blue is misty moonlight. You guys can kind of see that blue, right? And then we've got a basic gray and then a cinnamon cider. Can you kind of see the difference between the blue and the gray? If I do that, maybe a little bit better, right? But we're going to use our, we're going to use a cinnamon cider, which is funny because I don't think that that color is like listed as a coordinating color on here, but I thought it worked really, really well on this card. And I wanted something with a little bit of detail like that. So we're going to just add some adhesive because this is important to me that I get this in the right place, like where I want this on here. So I didn't want to put adhesive on the doily because I didn't want to get it too far over and then have it sticking in places I didn't want it sticking, okay? Next, we have our ribbon. This is pale papaya and white. They're calling this the woven ribbon. Hi, Linda, how are you? <laughs> yes, it is pretty, isn't it, Deb? All right, so we are going to just add, I like to just add adhesive right on here. And then we're gonna just kind of loop. We're gonna do one loop there, bring that back around, and then another one, right? Actually, we're gonna make it a little bit. I don't wanna go in off the edge of the card too much there because it won't fit in an envelope very well. And then we'll just do that there, okay? This is beautiful, like really nice cottony ribbon too. I love that ribbon also. Okay, then we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of each of these two label pieces. Okay, so we're gonna do those. There we go, okay. Oops, like peeling that one off already. Make sure that's tacked down there, okay. So this one is just gonna kinda go right in the center of all of this, and then we're going to add, I couldn't wait for a special occasion. <laughs> Where would I be without a friend like you? Awesome sentiments, right? Again, that stamp set too, the special moment stamp set free with a $100 order during celebration. I'll leave that right there as we finish things up. So next we are going to add a little linen thread. We're gonna make a bow. If I can open this up, I probably should have had this opened already. Okay. And I love how they finally, it's been a few years probably now, but I love how it's on a spool because I kind of like how it curls up like that. Um, we used to have it on a cardboard, like a flat piece, and then there were always funny kinks in our linen threads. So I'm very thrilled that we don't have those little kinks anymore. Okay, we're gonna add a glue dot. Just gonna pop that right on the back. And we're gonna put our bow right on there. And then, Lastly, have you guys seen? These are the brushed brass butterflies. You cannot say that quickly. Brushed brass butterflies. And they have little teeny tiny butterfly shaped glue dots on the back of these embellishments. Okay, so we are just going to add, they're, they're just little butterflies flying around our garden. So I kind of put one Right there, I did one small one there, and then I had one bigger one, maybe right about there. So we've just got some butterflies flying around, right? Because you always have butterflies flying around in your garden, don't you? Okay, ladies, I think we did it. 
Woohoo! We have two beautiful cards featuring that Flowering Fields Designer Series paper and the Special Moments Celebration stamp set. So I hope you enjoyed these projects. This one's like staying down a little bit better. I had like a box on top of it for <laughs> all week, I think, trying to flatten it out so that um, I would be able to take a picture of it too for you guys. Okay, so quick rehab. As always, there's our host code. Thanks, Jamie. I'm glad you could hang out with us today. Again, that's awesome. Snow days are great, aren't they? Ah, oh, very cool. Okay, so here's our host code, the XUE73H32. If you put an online order in of at least $30, you're going to get both of those projects for free as a thank you from me. Your name also goes in the drawing to win, where's my, um, nope, we're doing butterflies now, the Catching Butterflies stamp set, right? If you bump your order up to $50, you get to pick from the free embellishment, which is actually, let me make sure. Yep, the, am I, is that what I'm giving away? I think it's these, the pebble. I'm like, where's my, I didn't make a note on that, but I'm pretty sure we're doing the pebble enamel shapes or the demo design dream team PDF tutorial that has this project in it, right? Plus you get a celebration choice for any order of $50. And you also get your name in the drawing to win as many of my Common Camellia stamp sets as I have. And you could actually, not that you'd really want to win more than once, but I guess you could if you put a few orders in, you'd increase your odds of winning, right? So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I feel like I'm kind of bouncing off the walls. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I kept you guys awake at any rate, right? So have a great weekend and we will see you guys on our next Facebook Live. Bye everybody. Thank you so much.